Welcome back to another Mind Test mod review. And today we are looking at the Ma and Pops furniture mod. Uh, this was a requested mod review. If there is a mod you would like me to review, you can always request it. Um, the best way is by visiting my website and using the form there, but you can you can ask anywhere where I am and I'll add it to my list of requests. So I may have possibly a little bit gone overboard thinking this was the 50s. The 50s is when everything was the poodle skirts and, and the pink and the whites and blacks, right? I honestly have no idea, but I, I think I think that's what it was. These curtains are a little too bright pink in some spots, but, but you know, um, they, they still kind of work pretty much. Little head, uh, ceiling right here. So let's, let's start with the fun stuff, right? So we have this beautiful kitchen here just waiting to be explored. Uh, we have a refrigerator and a, uh, a freezer up top, which I thought this was quite fun. You can put a bucket full of water in and get a block of ice and your bucket back. And then you have a refrigerator down below where you can you can store your ice. I think you can actually put anything in the refrigerator down below. You can. Uh, we can put, you know, we'll, we'll put some chairs in our refrigerator. Sure, we'll put a doorbell in there, some some plank, some flour. No, actually, we'll keep the flour out. So the refrigerator has some storage in it. You know, so you can store things. We've got a dishwasher. Yes, this is the dishwasher. We got a dishwasher here. Um, it, it's just decorative. You can't you can't do anything with it. We have a fantastic radio. Um, unfortunately, it has really bad reception in this kitchen. So yeah, you only get static. Uh, we've got a toaster here. Now the toaster, I couldn't figure out. Where did I put my slice of bread? Here we go. I couldn't figure out. If I was doing this wrong, or if it just doesn't work currently, let me get a full loaf of bread. Maybe that's what it needs. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I actually just ate it. So possibly the toaster doesn't work. It's just decorative. Um, also, I don't really like the way it faced. There we go. That's better. That looks more like a toaster should be look. And we've got... Um, I, what do you, a hood? An, an oven hood? Whatever you call these things? I don't know. I'm too cool to have one. It's like a fan that sucks out smoke from when you burn your food because you don't know how to cook and you burn stuff. I mean, I'm a professional cook. I never burn anything, so I wouldn't need this, which is why I don't know what it is. The oven has an uncooked food and a cooked food slot, but um, the only food I could think of was, oh, I had it right there, the the flour for bread and it doesn't let me put that in it does have optional support for a bunch of other mods and i don't have any of those installed so quite possibly there is some food you can put in there and it'll actually cook it for you but the flour doesn't seem to work up top we just have some some basic cabinets with uh some little storage in them you know because you always need storage in your kitchens the blinds uh wait these aren't these are curtains aren't they these are curtains open and close by right clicking. There's two hall variant. There's also a one high variant over there. And then we have some under cabinet storage here as well. Um, and these all have the same amount of space, lots of space, mind you, lots and lots of space. And we've got the kitchen sink. We've got a coffee machine here that makes coffee. It doesn't actually make coffee. And we have a coffee cup as well, but it doesn't appear as if ooh, if they uh, interact with each other at all. We've got a microwave, which is looking pretty dope. But uh, again, I couldn't get anything to fit in. Like I tried putting metal in there. I thought, you know, it'd be fun. There's a start button you can press, though. This is all just purely cosmetic. Um, but again, this wouldn't work. So it might just be supporting foods that I don't have. And then we have an AC unit over here and the, the ceiling light turns on and off with the right click. And that pretty much wraps up the kitchen tour in the house. But before we get too far, lest you think you can only make this furniture in the pink, relax my friends, that is not the case. 
there are a lot of other colors that you can make them in. So we have, it's like this gray concrete kind of side, which by the way, I really dig this texture. It's really nice. Um, but yes, you can make all different colors, lots of different colors. You can even get the wood grain on the top, wood grain on your drawers. So you got lots of options. You don't have to do, and same with your blinds, uh, your curtains, lots of different colors. You don't have to stick with the 50s vibe. I hope this was the 50s. I wasn't alive then, so I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Some of this stuff does not have craft recipes. Um, oh, a cutting board. I didn't even have a cutting board out. I should throw one of these on the counter real quick. Uh, we'll have to put it over there because we can only fit one thing per countertop. There we go. Now we got Oh, actually, you know what? I wonder if we can put this on the wall. Nope. Okay. So, yeah, most of them have craft recipes. There are a few things that I found that didn't. Um, of course, I don't remember what those things were. I could have sworn there was a couple things in the kitchen that did not have craft recipes. Okay, maybe I'm just losing my mind. Oh, here we go. The kitchen faucet didn't. See, I knew there was something. The lamp does. Microwave, the oven, those both do. Oven overhead, the hood, whatever you call that. Oh, and then you can do the one with the sink in different colors as well. So, oh, maybe the radio. Nope. Why does radio use a chest? That's silly. Wait, toast? So you see, you're supposed to, to put that in the toaster. I don't know, man. It wouldn't work for me. Oh, is there a trash can? There is a trash can. I oh, and you're, you're above counter. Oh, I think it was one of these video game things. Here, the, this console. There's no craft recipe before. I knew there was a couple things. Just a few. But yeah, so you can get lots of different colors. You're not limited to just, just the pink retro poodle skirt kind of style. And then moving along and still somewhat keeping with the, the pink theming. And yes, you should really be jealous of the amazing location that this house is on. Literally on the water. Um, we've got this nice vintage... I don't know what type of computer this would be. But uh, very vintage, you can tell, because it's that disgusting, dirty yellow color. Um, there's actually a TV as well. Which, uh, you can craft that. If I remember correctly, you can, um, I don't know what that is. I we can get static, that's cool. <laughs> A rolling box. Alright, alright. Turned it off. We can get the, there is a name for this thing. But I don't remember what it is, but it does have a name. This little cup thing drinking and... Oh, it's a little umbrella thing. I thought it was a mushroom growing at first. Wow. Um, <laughs> it says something, but good luck reading it. And we can get static. All right, so yeah, we got the fun TV. Uh, we got a lamp here, and this is also available in other colors in case you are not a fan of pink. See, lots of lots of different colors. Don't freak out. The small curtains that are open and closable. We have the chairs and these little tables. You can sit on the chairs, which is kind of neat. Kind of neat. You can actually sit on the... Uh, hey, there we go. You can sit on the sofa as well, so you could... Uh, oh, you can actually do that. So you can watch the TNV while sitting on your sofa. And now the sofa has a fun little thing to point out here so when you first place it that will just place one right you know we'll just place it right here so it's like your uh a lounge chair uh armchair thing i'm not fancy enough to own any of these and then you can by punching it with the hammer pretty much smash the arms off of it so you can go from two arms to just one arm where you'd put it at the end of another one to make a long sofa 
none if it's going to be sitting in the middle, such as these. Uh, the one with the arm on the right hand side for the far end. And then if you want to make a sectional, you can get this. You get that goofy inside corner seat that I don't know how people are supposed to sit on because like you got somebody sitting right here and somebody sitting right here. Where does this dude put their legs? I don't know, man. Never really understood those. But uh, people buy them. People have them. So they must work. Um, yeah, so that's that's how this works. Oh, and yes, you can rotate them as well. So you punch, which is a left click, and you rotate by right clicking. And as you can notice, this does add wear to the hammer. So it's kind of silly to do that unless you want to break your hammer, which I mean, if you want to is fine. Oh, turns out this rotates, does this rotate everything? No. That means I can rotate my coffee cup that has a broken texture. It actually has some flipped normals is what's going on there. Cool. So I could, I couldn't make it fit on the wall because it doesn't do rotation that way. All right. Well, that's neat. I did not, I didn't look any different. Make the TV face out the window, except the window's not behind the TV. All right. So that's, so that's that. Um, there's hedges as well. I, I forgot these. Uh, you got hedges here, you, you six leaves, makes a little hedge, they connect, all that good stuff, you know. Um, if you have them set to waving, they do some kind of funky stuff here where they stretch some pixels. It's kind of weird, and then like some top ones don't move, but the lower ones do. It's It's not the fault of the mod per se, it's just how the waving for, I think this is, uses the plant waving. Yeah, because I don't have waving leaves turned on because those bug me. So yeah, this waves with the plant waving and just something with however that works makes stuff go a little wonky. Um, there is some other stuff that I didn't put out. Um, mainly being... Let me find them here someplace. Yeah, we have a fireplace, which I think can burn wood. We'll throw it. We'll throw it right here because that's a good place. The background texture is not the best, but there we go. It's got some wood. It's got some fire. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, this background texture, contrast-wise, little, little iffy. These footstools. I don't really understand. Like, do people actually have things like this? I mean, they must because you wouldn't make a furniture piece in a video game if a real life version of it didn't exist. But what is this? Like, if you're sitting on, I guess if your chair doesn't have the reclining feature that kicks out under your legs, maybe you'd put your legs on that. Like a footstool. Is that what this is? Oh, it is a footstool. <laughs> okay, so that uh, that that's more or less what that would be. There's a nightstand in several different colors. Um, I, I just didn't feel like building the whole house. So, because I spent so much time building this kitchen, making it look pretty. There's a nightstand. There's no bed, but obviously you have the bed from Mind Test Games. So, there's that. There is this little shower bit. Which, um, if I was fancy, I would know more about these, but I'm not fancy, and I don't have one of these. Um, I know this is the... Oh, you can't... You can't fit under it? <laughs> That's the problem. I guess we'll put it up a little higher. We'll put it up here. Um, there we go. That's kind of high to reach the knobs, though, isn't it? Well, maybe if you put the, no, that wouldn't work either. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think this is one of those, when those fancy shower heads, I'm not rich enough to have that kind of luxury in my house. And the, uh, uh, what do you call this? A sh shower pad, shower something. I forget what it's called. Shower base. There's a different name for it. 
Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's just the thing that goes under the shower. There's a toilet. There's a, there's toilet paper dispenser, toilet roll dispenser, which you can't craft. Unfortunately, we got the trampoline. Uh, let me get one of these garbage cans real quick. The stairs I want to play with. And then there's some little, some little actual passageways. I'm quite curious about the stairs. And of course, I would only give myself one. It's not quite enough there. Yeah, yeah, it is. Are there are leads above me. No. All right. Those are a very, um, very not 50s type aesthetic, but they work. They work well, actually. Trash can, you do need one of those in your kitchen. I mean, you, you just, you gotta have one, man. Boop. Trash is emptied. Um, there's also blinds, which I expected to open and close, but they don't. And on windows, they kind of looked, well, let me just show you how they look and you can form your own opinion. Felt like they looked more like bars across the window than window blinds, really. Um, I don't know if the trampoline is... I'm assuming it's bouncy. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Definitely bouncy. Good to have a trampoline in the kitchen, you know? And then uh, some little stone paths. We'll put those. And again, I only took one. May you think I would have grabbed more of these? There we go. Some little stone paths for your walkways in the garden and whatnot. And there is something seriously wrong with the sides of these. Some extra faces, maybe? It would actually only have to be one extra face. Or they're just UV unmapped poorly. And because that's the exact edge of a pixel, the UV mapping doesn't know which pixel to display. That's probably what the issue really is. It's uh, UV mapping. I'm assuming. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I can't guarantee it. And then lastly, we have the VCR. Uh, can we put the VCR on top of the TV? Kind of, but no, not really. You can turn it on and off though, so that's neat. And we got the console, which actually had a, there was a cartridge. Here we go. I don't know if we can put the cartridge. Uh, oh, <laughs> there it is. I was like, where did the cartridge go? Um, and it seems to not be breakable by hand. Some of the item breakings also, yeah, seemed a little off. Like, I have to use a pickaxe to break a video game cartridge. And I have to do something for the chair, but the floor I can break by hand. Like I say, a few of the things seemed a little bit off. I think that's... All of the things, though. The nightstand. Oh, there's a there's a knife that you can use to cut the bread to get the slices of bread. Oh, the box fan. I forgot about the box fan. And so you use the fan blade here for both the AC unit and for the box fan. And I had the AC unit over here in the wall. And let's throw a box fan um, right here under this tree because... Because why not, you know? It spins as you would expect a fan to. I'm assuming, yeah, okay. It just one of those things with the uh, alpha textures where they don't show on the inside sides of meshes, but the fan, oh, because the fan blade's part of the texture on this side. Oh, <laughs> that's why. So it's spinning, uh, anti-clockwise and it's spinning anti-clockwise who calls it anti-clockwise 
I don't know. I always thought it was counterclockwise personally, but I've heard people refer to it as anti-clockwise. And it's like, bruh, it's called counterclockwise, not anti-clockwise. Get it right. Well, that is going to wrap up this mod review.